Well, hey guys, welcome to our channel. Welcome back. If you've never been here before, we put out a new video every week about living in Fredericksburg, Virginia. So while you're here, you should tap that subscribe button so you never miss a video. And we are, I'm Jeff Edmiston. This is my business partner, Ruthie Buck. We are local Virginia real estate agents. And as much as we like making these videos, we love even more helping you with your real estate needs. So if you have any questions about real estate, living, working, playing here, shoot us a, a text, give us a call, send an email. However you like to communicate, we will get back to you. We get a lot of those calls. We love those calls and we look forward to talking to you. So let's get into today's video. Today we're going to talk about 15 things that you need to know about living in Fredericksburg. It's kind of like a pros and cons, but it's not really a pros and cons mm -hmm. video. We're just going through 15 things that we think anybody who's moving here just needs to give, give some consideration to. Well, and I think the top of those 15 is probably going to be housing. Um, where are you going to live? How much is it going to cost? Because Virginia does tend to be, um, can I use the word slightly or it's actually not slightly, it's much higher than some of the other locations. Although a great place to live, I mean, housing, the cost of housing is a bit more here. I love your honesty there. <laughs> yeah, it, and she's right. It's, it's not slightly, it's a good bit higher than the national average, 26% higher than the national average to be exact so even though it is pricier than other places in the in the country you can still find a great home here in Fredericksburg it's a fabulous place to live so another consideration is going to probably be the traffic <laughs> which also is kind of a little bit of a negative in the area um, until you get to know the area no ways around some things but traffic is tough here I mean it's we've got a lot of traffic you know, it's, it's interesting because Ruthie and I have been doing this a long, long time, and I've had a lot of conversations over the years with, with people who are here, and I ask them, you know, I'm constantly doing research for things like these videos and blog articles and things that we write, and when I ask them what they don't like about here, the number one thing yeah. I hear is traffic. I hate the traffic here, especially I-95 going yeah. north. But even the local traffic, there are there are problems. Ruthie and I were having a conversation a couple days ago about the different places traffic bottlenecks up here. And there's, you know, four, five, six places where you can just count on traffic mm -hmm. is going to bottleneck up, especially at certain times of the day. Uh, but if you're commuting north, 95 is always going to be a beast that you have to contend with, and there's just no way around that. You should know that. And if you are moving here, you should give some consideration to where you move based on you know your community needs and the and the time that's going to be acceptable you know acceptable use mm -hmm. as far as community is concerned so one of the things that you will find that's fabulous here we've talked about a couple of uh, negatives or potential negatives uh, one of the things you're going to find here is fabulous is the outdoor activities we have lots of things to do here first up in my mind is the river the river is fabulous you can tube swim mm -hmm. canoe kayak do yoga on it, yeah. you know, all of those things. The walking trails are fabulous. I mean, there's a, so much here. I mean, I think of all the places that I've actually raised my children, I'm really happy that it was here in Fredericksburg because you can be as busy as you want or as low key as you want. Um, there's plenty to do for all ages here, whether you have children or no children or dogs. You know, I love dogs, everybody knows that. So, you know, there's a couple dog parks that are great here too. Um, there's just an abundance of activities in the area. Yeah, I think that contributes to us being a, a relatively healthy uh, part of the country because of all those, those yeah. outdoor activities as well. I think the next thing that uh, is always going to be on someone's mind is the education. You know, what's the education like? You know, there's a couple of different aspects when we're speaking of education. If you're talking about higher education, you got the University of Mary Washington, which is mm -hmm. a fabulous school that's right here in downtown Fredericksburg. But we have some uh, some very, very well-regarded schools in the area as well. So generally speaking, if we're talking about Fredericksburg, you got three different school districts that you're, you're considering. You have the Fredericksburg City School District, Spotsylvania County School District, and Fred, uh, Stafford County School District. And especially Stafford County has some very, very highly regarded schools. I think Stafford County is like the 14th highest ranked county in Virginia out of 92 or so uh, in terms of their school district. Spotsy has some, some very highly mm -hmm. ranked schools as well. Uh, so if education is a consideration, do your, do your research. If you don't know where to go, give us a call, shoot us a text. We can point you in some great directions uh, to do your own research as well. Some places you probably haven't, haven't found already. 
Well, and if it's um, geared towards college, if you're not looking for a four-year college like Mary Washington, then you have Germana Community College. Um, I mean, and they've got several off-site locations as well, not just here in Fredericksburg, but they've got an off-site location in Stafford. They've got one over in um, Locust Grove area, so they're kind of spread out as well. Great point. Yeah, great point. Germana's a great option for a lot of people. You know. So local businesses, you know, what you'll find once you get here is we, we in Fredericksburg tend to support small businesses, and that's great. We have a thriving downtown, and that's a big part of it. There's all the little mm -hmm. boutique shops, the you know the the local restaurants like Orofino, yeah. you know that happens to be one of one of my favorites. Um, shopping, Liberty Town Arts, lots of different small businesses, uh, and that's important to us here in Fredericksburg. Once you get here, what we would encourage you to do is think local first, and mm -hmm. then go 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 to bigger chains if you have to. Yeah, there is an abundance of shopping here and truly when you look at the past couple years and so many businesses that have closed down, I'm so happy that in Fredericksburg that we still, like Fredericksburg downtown especially, is still thriving and the little boutique, boutiques there and um, the little mom and pop places there, they're still open. So another consideration about living in Fredericksburg is the history. You know, a lot of people are history buffs and if that's you <laughs> you're going to love Fredericksburg. We are jam-packed with history. Obviously it was right at the at the heart of the Civil War uh, but there is so much history here. So many different places that you can visit and learn. By the way take the trolley tour if you uh, if you haven't done that you get here take the trolley tour because you're going to learn a lot in that I forget how long it is I think maybe maybe 60 or 90 minute tour somewhere in there. It's, I've taken it so many times but I never timed it because the time goes by, goes by so fast because I'm learning so much. But this is a great place if you're in the history to, uh, to just partake and learn. Fredericksburg has a growing, thriving economy. Actually, you know, I do a lot of research. We do a lot of research for our clients so that we can always be, you know, up to date on information when clients are asking us questions. And there are some industries here in the Fredericksburg area that most people don't even know about. And you can see how behind the scenes they're really contributing to the economy. So it's a growing, thriving economy. It's a bedroom community of Washington, D.C. So we get the tax base, basically, of all those people who work up there but live down here. All right, so we're up to number eight now. Let's talk about religion or churches. Um, we are in the South. The South just tends to be very, very faith-oriented. We have a whole bunch of churches here. Any denomination that you can yeah. think of, and it's going to be close to wherever you are. There's mm -hmm. going, to be, going to be a church that's going to be close by, uh, pretty much regardless of whatever denomination or faith that you're yeah. looking for. The next consideration is health care. And this, is, this one is important for a lot of people. You may have, uh, you may have concerns. Airplane. You... <laughs> Is you that may, like squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> you may have concerns just about emergencies. You want to make sure you're close to a hospital for emergencies, or you may have some ongoing medical needs and you want to be close to, uh, to quality health care. Well, you've got it here in Fredericksburg. Uh, Mary Washington is, uh, is a hospital that's in Fredericksburg in the city, and it is a very highly regarded, regarded hospital. It's also one of the mm -hmm. biggest employers in the area. Uh, but just to the south of the city, in Spotsylvania yeah. County, we have the Spotsylvania Regional Medical Center, and just to the north, we've got the Stafford. Re uh, what's the name of Stafford Regional Hospital? I think yes. it is. But it, again, not far from. Freddy. It's only like six miles up the road. Yep. Um, up so, the highway from us. So pretty much anywhere you go here, you can be pretty doggone close to uh, a hospital that can ha handle different things like emergencies and ongoing care. Yeah. Well, and not only, I mean, not hopefully not everybody needs a hospital stay, but these hospitals also have some off-site locations um, as well, like an emergency room that may not be in the hospital, but it may be, you know, six or seven miles away from it. Or So they have off-site locations as well connected to the hospitals. Good point. Great point. Yeah. Well after raising three children and <laughs> visiting numerous emergency rooms you, you, and <laughs> you, you've learned by experience right? yes <laughs> all right number 10 is community events you know you, you don't want to move someplace and that place be a very boring place to live well that's certainly not Fredericksburg there's a 
always something going on. Um, but just to name a few, we have First Fridays in Fredericksburg. Every, the first Friday of every month, they're, Fredericksburg's almost party-esque, if you would, where we are supporting the local businesses and local you know, arts and culture and everything that makes Fredericksburg special. You've got the fireworks the 4th of July, you've got the, the fair, all kinds of events are always going on. So we also have one of the top points is going to be all of the parks, um, the parks and recreation that we have in the area. In any direction that you go, it seems like there is a park that can be geared towards, again, any age. Yeah, and that includes dog parks. We've got dog parks in the area. We've got city parks, mm -hmm. county parks, national parks. They're, they're, all, they're all right here. They all offer a wide variety of things for you to do. But there's no excuse not to get outside, get out in nature, relax, get a little exercise uh, with our parks system here. All right, twelfth point is library. Library is important to a lot of people. Books are expensive, so a lot of people like to, mm -hmm. to borrow books from the library. Research, computer use, all the, all the things that libraries offer. We have the Central Rappahannock Regional Library here, and it has multiple locations. So if you want access to a library, you pretty much any point around the city, you're relatively close, uh, close to the library. And with the yeah. with the Libby app, if you get your library card from the Central Rappahannock Regional Library, you can download books for your Kindle via the Libby app. If you didn't know that, oh, I did not know that. Yeah. So I'm learning something new today. There you go. Um, and a lot of the libraries, they're really great about catering towards young children too. I know my neighbor <clears throat> works at one of the libraries. Um, closer to Fredericksburg and I mean she's constantly planning things for the children whenever she's reading to them and just they have so many activities at the library for the kids. And they've, they've got a, uh, a branch inside the mall and when I walk by there it seems like that one's you know highly geared towards yeah. kids. So. Yeah because they take their kids out to the play area afterward to wear to wear out. <laughs> we're, we're out that energy. There you go. <laughs> All right always a consideration no matter where you're moving <clears throat> One of the things that you should be concerned about is crime and safety. So Fredericksburg, the crime rate's slightly higher than the national average, particularly with property crime, but it's considerably lower than a lot of other cities that you could be in, even other cities in, uh, in Virginia. So the overall feel here is it's a very safe place to live, but no matter where you go, do your own research to make sure that you're comfortable with the, the crime and safety rate of wherever you're going to live. So the 14th point we're going to talk about is sports. If you um, have children who want to be active in sports, there's a lot of great opportunities here. Parks and Rec uh, has a lot of great leagues like softball and baseball. You've got the, the uh, Fredericksburg Fieldhouse. But what we're most proud of here probably is the Fredericksburg Nationals. It's it, a yeah, it's such a pretty stadium. Beautiful place. It is. It's the single way affiliate of the Washington Nationals, which is just right up the road. Uh, but it's a great place to catch a ball game. Beautiful field, like, like Ruthie said. Um, they've only been around here for a few years, and uh, boy, we have embraced them. Mm -hmm. And we'll wrap up with uh, the 15th consideration. Is probably you already considered this if you're considering moving here anyway, but that's our proximity to DC, uh, but also our proximity to Richmond. Yeah, and we're right in between the two, about roughly an hour to, to either one. Obviously, depending on traffic, an hour to DC could be three hours to DC yeah, <laughs> if, the tra this is true. <laughs> if traffic's messed up. <laughs> uh, but generally speaking, roughly an hour to either one, which makes us a great bedroom community for, for DC. You can work up there, get the higher income, move down here, get more bang for your buck for your house, your cost of living, all of that. So those are 15 things that we think you should know about living in Fredericksburg if you are considering moving here. If you have any questions about living, working, playing here, about real estate in general, then give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We get calls like that all the time. We love helping people answer those questions. And that's it for this one, and we will see you in the next video.